Electric field lines. Recall that if we have a positive charge and a negative charge that are near each other, they generate an electric field that looks like this. To draw in electric field lines, let's first consider the electric field just below the positive charge. It points almost straight down. Now let's consider the electric field at the end of this vector. Well, it points a little to the right, because the downward repulsion from the positive charge is weaker, since we're farther away from the positive charge, while the attractive force from the negative charge hasn't changed that much. We can keep doing this, and the resulting line is an approximation for the electric field line. Now here's the true electric field line for this case. And now we can draw in some more electric field lines. Electric field lines tell the direction the electric field is pointing at different locations. For example, which way does the electric field point here? To find out, we can draw in the tangent to the field line. The direction of the electric field is indicated by the arrows on the electric field line, so the electric field here points this way. Now let's look at another example, two positive charges. Here's the corresponding electric field. If the two charges are equal, the electric field is zero at the midpoint between them, and the field is also purely vertical along the midline between them. Again, we could draw on the electric field at a specific point, here shown in green, and then look at the electric field at the end of this vector, and so on. Again, this is an approximation for the electric field line, and now here's the actual field line. And here are some more field lines. Now, electric field lines can never cross. Why? Well, let's suppose we have two field lines that do cross. Before their intersection, a charge would feel the force indicated by one of the field lines. But at the intersection, which electric field would the charge feel? The electric field can only point in one direction at each location, so this intersection presents us with an impossibility. So electric field lines can never cross. They can never intersect, but they can come very close together, like we've shown here. And in some cases, they can even arrive at the same point and then stop. Here's an example in which that happens. The electric field at the midpoint between two positive equal charges is zero. So the electric field lines along the line between the two charges approach the midpoint and then stop. But the field lines just above and below that line, which we show here in green, will diverge up or down. And finally, electric field lines are often stronger where more field lines are present. This isn't always the case, and it largely depends on which field lines are drawn. To avoid misleading field line diagrams, the number of field lines around each charge should be roughly proportional to the magnitude of that charge, and the field lines should be evenly spaced around the charge, like we've shown here. Here, we have eight lines coming out or going into each charge, and these charges have the same magnitude. In this highlighted region, which has three field lines passing through it, the field is stronger, while over here, where there's just one field line, the electric field is weaker. Using field line density to assess field strength isn't foolproof, but it can be used as a rule of thumb.